Hey, what's up? This is Dragon Singh with a new gameplay video. This time I'll be playing a game called Tiny and Big Grandpa's Leftovers. Tiny and Big is a game developed by Black Pants Studio and it is a 3D platformer. First, I'm gonna go to the controls. Looks like it supports keyboard and mouse setup, or you can use a 360 controller or any controller. I'm gonna be using the 360 controller. Go to options, got music, sound, quality. It doesn't exactly have any um, customizable like settings, graphical settings, like shading, shadows, stuff like that. It just says quality. But this is the demo version. I'll put more information along with download links down in the description box. So let's go ahead and resume game. Let's see what this game is about. Let's say you start off with uh, some type of adventurer. You jump pretty high. Looks like a toad. Pick this thing up. Push that stone and climb to collect the rest. Enjoy the built in music track. Oh, interesting. Let's see, so it's a platforming game. You're supposed to push this. Just move into the rock to push it. Using the WASD keys, space to jump. Left click. So I have to find some tools first to use those buttons. What the hell? His mouth is moving. That was weird. Got a tool. He's on his back now. Pull. Press for the... Where's... Oh, you... Hold right mouse click. Oh, you hold right mouse click to attach Looks like some type of pulling thing. And you move backwards to pull it off. It's pretty interesting. It's kind of, it kind of has like a little comic book, uh, shell shaded typographical comic book style. It's pretty interesting. See, when you um, pull the things off, then it makes a little like a pop up, like in comic books, how it pops up. Showing the sound effects and stuff. So let's see. You haven't collected a laser yet? Turn around, it's right behind you. Okay, that's good to know. Where is it? To find some type of laser gun or something. Maybe it's up there. So this is a platforming game. You can use these um, ropes and gadgets to make to actually make the platforms, and then you can actually platform. So it's like a puzzle platformer. Climb up here, grab that thing right there. You got the battery. You need that to use your laser thing, I guess. Cut. The left mouse button is to draw a line, it looks like a line or something, and then you... Nice. Now you actually cut that cactus. That's pretty interesting. The cactus looks like a boulder though. <laughs> Doesn't exactly feel or look like a, um, a plant to me. <laughs> it looks like one of those boulders. Let's go collect all these other gadgets, see what they are. I guess you can just cut this too far away. There you go. So you can cut and grab, cut and grab. Looks like these are music tracks. You can collect them. Here's a little bonus item. What the hell was that? 
Looks like we got some enemies moving around. Or maybe they're just trying to scare you. See what's up on this one. Pull this thing down. I can try pulling it towards me, see if it knocks me out or not. Can you cut this big old one right here? See if it does if it does hit me or not. Looks like you can't cut it if it's not highlighted. Like if it's like that, you see the um, border lines are blue, and then you can cut it. If it's not blue, then you can't. But it looks like you can cut cut pretty much any um, any of these rocks in the environment. That's pretty cool. Grab this gigantic one. Let me see if it knocks me out or not. So he uses a lot of physics. Oh! Oh shit! So we can kill you. Try again. Again. Rocket. Rocket. Press metal, metal mouse button. And then... What? I don't, want, I don't know what the hell that line is. Oh, nice. What is it? Not exactly sure what that is. It just boosts an item or something, or a object. Rocket. Oh, cool. That's pretty interesting. Depending on where you put that little rocket thing, it moves the objects like a remote control type of thing. So you put that thing right there, and then. I'm moving now. Okay, put a rock on the back. There you go, cool. But you have to ha actually stand behind it or something. That's pretty interesting. Put a rocket right there, and then let me stand right here. It doesn't go towards the way you're you are pointing the mouse though. Well, let me put it right here. Try it. Okay, try going forward. Try going this way. Okay, let me put on this. Try going over there. Yeah, it doesn't go the way you face the camera, the way you're facing. It just goes straight, depending on which side of this rock right here that I put on. See, if I put it on this side, then it goes, yeah, it goes straight. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Cutscene. I'm gonna be skipping on the cutscenes to show mostly gameplay. Don't really know what my objective is right now. It's just tutorial, I guess. Let's go see what's over here. A crashed taxi cab, and that's a taxi cab. I pull it out. Can't fix it. Unfortunately, you can't repair things. I don't think you can destroy things, like cut them to pieces and pull them. Pretty interesting game so far. Let me see what's up up there. If I can get up there. Or I could just chop the whole thing down. No need to um climb up climb up there and see it. But you can just chop it off and pull it down. Get down here. Let me see what's inside. Oh, nothing's inside. But that, that might be something inside that mouth. This little crevice right there. 
guess I'm supposed to go up there. There's like a doorway up there. So it's right going up there. I need a boulder. So our platform, something to step on. Yeah, this is more like a puzzle platformer. You gotta decide what to cut, what to pull, stuff like that. Let me cut a piece of this. Pull this down. Oh no! Oh well, I can use the other one. Come on, I need you as a platform. Unfortunately, this is the, as high as he can jump. But oh, never mind. Don't know how I got up there. Looks like there's no double jumping. Skipping around. Something up here. A boring stone. Let's go in here. See what this is. Ah, some weird. Tiny. There's a dialogue system. With, um, little speech bubbles. What the heck just happened? Oh, he wants me to do the rocket again? Yeah, after you press middle mouse, and you just press middle mouse again, and then it pushes it. Okay, yeah, went that side, nothing over there. This one's supposed to go up there. For some reason, there's like little. There's like a little. Um, there's those little lines right there showing you where to cut it. So that's interesting. Where the best place to cut it is. as a platform if I can oh barely made it skip the cutscenes oh someone kicked me and fell down wait that was it <laughs> that was it after someone kicked me down, and then that's the end of the demo. So yeah, that was it. That was an interesting graphic style. I didn't actually use the controller like I said I was going to, but I think for this game it, it might be best to use it as a use um, keyboard and mouse setup actually, because there's some aiming when you cut the rocks and stuff. There's some um, like if they draw outlines and stuff, so maybe using a mouse might be better.